Hello YouTube, it's Dorian. Uh, I want to show you guys today the latest uh, in the development branch for Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver. The video I recorded earlier uh, didn't record uh, any audio, so I'm just going to go skim through it really quick, show you what I did, because now I can talk over it at least. Uh, I basically went in and you know set up my virtual machine so that I can show you guys the installation and find the virtual disk and whatnot. Uh, the installation went just like it would in Ubuntu 16.04 or any any other Ubuntu installation is pretty much the same. Just wait for it to boot up here. Yeah, 18.04. And we're going in, try Ubuntu. Now one thing you notice right off the bat, the background is still the Artful Aardvark from 17.10. So they haven't yet um, created a background for it. But as you can see here, in the, uh, the details of the settings, it shows you right here. Bionic Beaver development branch, no version on it for some reason, but I guess that's just what they do. Uh, this is the the daily builds, so this is current as of November twenty second, two thousand seventeen. And so let me just skip ahead here. Uh, preparing to install, installing. Yeah, so you can see. It's using the Linux kernel 4.13.0-16 generic. And I don't know what else is there. What else is important here? It doesn't matter. This is just a, an installation. I was just playing with it while it was, you know, installing, changing backgrounds, rebooting. So <clears throat> I can actually show you now in real time. Um, if you've used 17.10, you're not gonna be blown away by it. If you use 16.04 right now, um, you'll find a few little changes. Um, kinda wish they had a newer background instead of using the old one but I imagine they're gonna spend some time coming up with you know all kinds of different versions of the bionic beaver however they're gonna draw it and uh, they have till the end of April to do that so I'll just log in here um, one thing to note the Ubuntu by itself with nothing is on Wayland and you'll also have still the option on the Xorg X11 server. So that is a matter of preference. For me, again, and like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I like the Xorg's animations, which are lacking in Wayland, which is at least for now, I'm sure that will change, but um, yeah. So this is it. It looks very much like 17.10. It looks like um, any other GNOME desktop distro. Um, but it still has the old Unity style uh, grayish brownish taskbar with you know, the buttons that are on the right side now instead of the left because we went from Unity to GNOME. And uh, one complaint I had before was all this weird shading at the top. I don't like it. The The dock and the top are still different colors. Uh, I talked about this in the last video, um, my first Bionic Beaver video when I was talking about it. So, so far that hasn't changed. Hopefully it does. Uh, if you go in the settings here, if you're coming from 16.04, you'll notice that this looks different with this side thing. I don't want to... Update's been issued since 18.04 was released. Well, it wasn't released yet, so that's interesting, but 
Look at that. Updates from the future. So I don't want to do that anyways. Um, yeah, so this is different than what you would see in 16.04. Uh, I already played with this. That's why my dock icons are so big. And you can change if you want it on the bottom or the right. Nothing new if you've used 17.10. Uh, your notifications, very much like any other GNOME distribution. And uh, yeah, details here, you can see it's the development branch. Um, it is just like 17.10. It is using the latest GNOME shell. I can't type and talk. All right, 3.26.2, which is actually what I'm also using in uh, Manjaro right now, which is a rolling release. So if a new version comes out, you'll probably get that if, uh, if it's proven to be stable by uh, what, the freeze for 18.04, I believe was in March. So if it gets in before the freeze, a newer version with maybe some new features, then maybe we'll see that. But for now, again, this is the daily uh, release. So f for now, it's running this. And uh, like I showed earlier in the video, I made my fonts really big so you guys can read it. So sorry if it looks a little messy, but it's using uh, Linux 4.13, the kernel. Uh, the next LTS kernel is supposed to be 4.14. So I'm hoping 14.14 um, is released before the freeze for Bionic Beaver. And then we'll end up with the 14.14 LTS kernel. And then that'll, that'll be good for a while. I'm not sure what's going to happen if if that doesn't happen, maybe they'll maybe they'll stick with 4.13. Uh, there's I know there was a few issues with 1.3, but whatever. Um, that's not really up to me. So, anyways, yeah, if you've used 17.10 uh, or you're using it, very very similar. Um, nothing really groundbreaking it's the same um, Ubuntu software center it's 3.26.1 uh, things like files 3.26 so if you're if you're on a rolling release distro you're probably using the same stuff uh, but it'll be a nice little upgrade if you're if you're still running 16.04 if you're still using the LTS um, if you're using 14.04, there'll probably be quite a few changes. Uh, one thing that disappoints me here is this Amazon thing is still installed. I've always hated that about Ubuntu, but it's not that hard to show detail, uninstall, uh, no big deal. Uh, LibreOffice, Remina, which is nice to include. Shotwell, I like. and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's they they might add more. You know, transmission's always been there. Your basic utilities. Uh, I do like that they include Deja Dupe. It's a really good backup utility. If you don't use it, you should. You can schedule it so that it runs every single day. And um, if you're using Ubuntu 16.04, you'll have an old version of Deja Dupe, which tries to download things like your cache and your dconf folders and things that it can't and you end up with errors all the time um, so Google if you do use it Google had to force an update to get the newest version of uh, Deja dupe and you'll be pretty happy to not see those errors anymore uh, I did that on my Ubuntu uh, LTS uh, distribution on, on my system and it was nice to have those errors go away. I didn't like seeing them every single day. So yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to make this any longer than it needs to be. Um, like I said, uh, nothing new if you're using 17.10, but 
I'm I'm glad that they've switched to GNOME. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep on wondering why my virtual machine won't shut down. All right, that was odd. I made my fan kick on. Anyways, um, that's it for now. Uh, as the daily updates keep rolling in, I'm going to keep checking it now and then and download the ISO and uh, install it and boot it up, see what's new. And uh, I'll keep posting updates to my YouTube and to my Twitter. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So hopefully you're, you learned a little bit if you're using 16.04 if not I mean it's just another known distribution very much like mine that I'm currently on Manjaro a lot of the same things um, I guess we'll have to just wait and see where it goes till then uh, subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Dorian.slash and I will keep you up to date on what's new as it comes out that's it for now till next time